I had a chance to listen to someone named Carl Wyman, and I learned a lot from him. Here's something I learned from him that you may find very helpful for yourself as well as with your kids. <laughs> Professor Wyman is an interesting and a smart guy. He's a physicist and an educationist at Stanford. He has also won a lot of awards, including a Nobel Prize in Physics. Here's something I learned from him. It's called active learning, and it's a proven methodology he and others are perfecting that can readily double your learning ability. His initial interest in this came about because he was teaching all of these high GPA smart students at Stanford, and he felt they didn't really understand physics. So Professor Wyman and others conducted a study over many years. Some of the classes they taught were taught in the traditional manner, like we've all experienced. Teachers lecturing from the front of the classroom, homework assignments, and exams at the end of every semester. Other classes they taught were done so using active learning. And all the classes involved the same teachers, a similar body of students, and the exact same material. So, what's active learning? Well, there's four simple steps. Firstly, students read up on the topic before class. And then, secondly, when they come to class, Professor Wyman, in this case, posed a real-world problem on the topic they were studying and gave them multiple-choice answers and asked them to raise their hand and explain which answer they believe was correct and their reasoning as to why. He then had the students break up into small groups of two or three and share their reasoning with each other and discuss why they thought their answer was correct and, as importantly, why the other answers were wrong. Third, he then surveyed the class again as to their multiple choice answer. Fourth, finally the professor would lead a discussion with all the students to get their thoughts and their reasoning and then at the end he'd give them the real answer and he would answer any questions they might have. And this resulted in a big difference in learning. On average, students taught with active learning doubled their understanding when tested at the end of the course. And other experiments showed long-term retention is also much better. Now, believe it or not, traditional education shows that 90% of material is forgotten just six months after the class is taken. Whereas in an active learning environment, students maintained 70% of what they learned two years later. Now, this works for a few different reasons. For one, students are working on real-world problems. What's more, they have a stake since they were asked to guess from a multiple-choice answer in the beginning. Secondly, they work both alone and then in groups, formulating their ideas and sharing their knowledge. And this starts to build a framework in their brains as to what is being learned. The point being, you can't transfer knowledge readily into someone's brain very well by just lecturing them. It's a bit like trying to develop a good tennis player by talking to them about tennis. So, the takeaway, next time you're learning something, be sure to apply it to a real world problem and share your thinking with a group learning the same thing.